Let's start the recording then. All right. Welcome everyone. Blah 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 blah. Intro. Let's just get to the game and get to the assholes who I'm going to be talking about today on um, my videos. This girl who decides to try, um, who decides to try to openly, openly. Okay, I it, on one of my accounts I run something called the breeding unit and. And it's for purely roleplay, none of it's real, but she seems to think that you can just come in and just leave. No. The, it, it is not a game, it is you signed up for a job in roleplay, and you will do that job, and this is not a job you can quit. This is a US, this is between, this has the, this is for the um, in role play Army, Marines, Air Force, and um, National Guard. You cannot quit. Once you sign up, you cannot quit. Unless you are discharged. And I had not discharged her yet. And I was not going to discharge her anytime soon. I expected her to... Just blatantly not, not, okay, this kid's not as bad, I didn't even really talk to him, he was, whatever, just collateral damage, go follow him if you like. Um, this asshole, first of all, I got mad. Okay, don't, first of all, dude, do not call me an asshole. Second, second, I am not... I, once you join my unit, you are in it for life until I discharge you. Second. Second, learn how to fucking spell before you check your spelling before you send it out. Um, and first of all, do not, and I mean do not, Go behind my back, you pussy, and tell me, and and talk and just talk lies about me, okay? Yeah, I got mad at her, but you, you she decided to join, and I'm gonna say once a slut, always a slut. Come on, people don't go bullying him at all. Don't go on his, don't, don't go for his thing here. And don't go bully him. Just don't. I'm not gonna, I'm not, don't condone bullying. This video isn't bullying. Okay? That's what it's not, that's not what it's here for. This is to teach you, just don't, don't be an asshole. And by the way, if you're gonna be, if, if you're gonna be a cry whiny little asshole, towards me, you get no sympathy from me at all. No, it's just none. No dice, no nothing. You, you're just done. Okay. Well, so that's just anything you want to say? No, I think you did well with it. Covered it pretty well. Just don't, don't, if you're going to roleplay with me on any of my accounts, don't come in thinking, okay, if you sign up for something like the breeding unit on my thing, don't come in and just think you can just leave without getting in trouble first. It's a job, not a game. Um, so. Hope. Well, hopefully the rules that you've posted now will explain that, and you won't have to explain it going forward. Exactly, and I put on my rules, must follow.
And here are the rules, people. Yee, yee. Uh, da, da, da. Here are the rules. Here are the rules. If you do not follow these, you will be you will be um, in big fucking trouble in um whatever in what um whatever we're doing in the role book okay and if my character has to execute your character We'll not do it. If my characters have to execute yours, no question, no begging, your character's gonna die. Okay? No questions, no nothing. You don't even get to say no. They get to die. And then be brought back to life. And hopefully, and hopefully you will learn to... And hopefully they will learn to listen. So leave leave all the hate comments you want. It won't change how I roleplay or won't change the roleplay at all. You can whine and bitch at me all you want. I do not care. <laughs> this story looks interesting. This game. Oh, the game is. I played a little bit of it when I first I first got I I first got it for my PS2 back then. But um. Come on, couldn't Ed just, like, pick you up and throw you? I mean, whatever. You mean Al throw Ed across yeah. the bridge? Can't Al just, like, lift you up and just throw you? Well, how would he get over then? A leap and a jump? <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will admit I love playing Sorry, texting. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, probably should just like turn off my phone while I'm recording. Nah, that would be even fun. Anyway, no, the game's good. It could be the game is good, but it could be better. Um, mm -hmm. but, mm, I can't really, can't really, yet, can't really say too much because, well, PS2, not very good graphics back then. Yay, avoided copyright infringement. Oh, wait, no. They can't get me out of anything. I'm not fucking monetized. You can kiss my ass.
you know, I, I, my favorite characters are Armstrong and Mustang. Oh, yeah. I really like Mustang, too. Even though Mustang's a jackass. Um, <laughs> tight ass motherfucker. Uh. <laughs> I like the Armstrongs, too. Both of them, actually. Yeah. I, I like the female more than the male, because he's just... Hmm. He's like a bag full of bricks. Not interesting. <laughs> he's just muscle! He's muscle! You, the, no, you want to know what he is? He's comic relief for the show. He is. He's a sweet guy. He's sweet. And just kind of pulled in and... I mean, I get why they went there with his character, showing his remorse at at the past and trying to make up for it now, but come I on! I don't remember what he did during the past. I remember there was a war. I need to watch the Full Metal Ultimate series again. Yes. Because trying to think... Because I remember... I remember in the first series, the first series before the remake, that was more true to the, you know, manga. Um, there was, he, I think he killed a few people in war, a few hundred people with his alchemy in war, mm -hmm. and he was really, really sad about it. Uh-huh. Like, I almost, you, you, you almost want to think if, oh crap. I think that was part of it. I'd need to watch it again, too, but it seems like there was more to it than that, because his sister, at least to, uh, at least on the surface, acted like she despised him for his actions after the war. Well, actually, I don't even think his sister was an alchemist. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't... She wasn't. Yeah, I don't think she's an alchemist. I, I Try that now, bitch! Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Try that now, bitch! You gotta go work that stone! Jackass. Okay. Yeah, I'd have to watch it again. But yeah, she... I, I have to. I have to watch it again. Because I don't remember anything. Like, yeah, she despised him, but I think she, I think she killed people too during the war. I, I think. I really don't remember what all she did during the war, or if she was even part of the war. Who's you? You got some nerve strolling, strolling in on our turf, you punks. What the fuck? <laughs> That's spelling. Jesus. Their 
things only Al can use and things that only Ed can use. I mean, I love this game, and I love the series. The series is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Oh, should probably take an elixir. Yeah, 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 people kiss my ass, I cheated. <laughs> I... I have, um... Okay. Now head is adequate attack. These do much more attack than my own. The arm thing that I have. My question is, who taught Ed and Al how to do hand-to-hand -hand combat? Probably their teacher. Pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure... She, yeah, she's a master alchemist, but... Yeah, that's true. She probably... She probably beat him bad enough to, to where she... To where they were. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that and Wingry's wrenches helped. Wingry's wrenches helped also. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lightning like reflexes to dodge a, to dodge anything from bullets to wrenches. Jesus Christ. State Alchemist, or er, Ed is a State Alchemist. Um, yes, is because he can, he he can do it without his hands. Probably won't get any. With how YouTube is, is I've I've hardly gotten any views unless my hardcore fans are watching. Uh huh. Like. Oh, this thing broke. Oh, wrong thing. God damn it! I thought you didn't want that! No! I'm pressing this button for too long. Here you go, Al. Ow! Okay! Here we go!
Yeah, I've always liked how he made weird things. <laughs> okay. I think we go in here. Yeah. I remember when this game first came out. Um, I played it when came I played it in came um came apart. <laughs> I played it in Kmart. Um, when it uh -huh. came out because PS2 was still huge back then. Mm -hmm. PS2 is actually one of actually I think is one of the highest selling one of the highest selling um things there um game stations there is. Probably. Hey Al, will this kill you? <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Yeah, and Ed would probably try it on him too. Oh no! Oh no! 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 There's no doubt that he would. Hey Al, will <laughs> this kill you? Boom! Oh, that's what that does. But then I think part of the thing is they were worried that the tunnel would collapse. No, I think one I think one punch would destroy all the rocks. Pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Or the train. Yeah. <laughs> Shot. <laughs> I'm proud you didn't destroy anything of value. What the oh fuck? God. Oh God. can you even see? Hmm. Can you even see? <laughs> oh, I was hoping that I could just try to jump, and jumping would get me farther. Uh -huh. Oh, look, a Camara! Talk about it for a while. Yeah. Oh, wow, that thing's big. Are these things unkillable? Because if they are, that's 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 rude. 
It's really fun, but they need to remake it? Yeah, they need to remake it because I'll, I'll show you the texture problems in that. Oh. After we finish this chapter. Wait, no, I think I got about this far in the game. And then when I was playing it on my old PS2, it crashed on me and never started up again. Oof. Yeah. And then Winry would be, and then Winry would be the one to kill him. No, then Winry, no, no, then Winry would come and say, "This is my man. This is what my baby says." <laughs> she's grabbing his wiener. Yeah! <laughs> oh gosh. You know what? That would be like the best episode ever. <laughs> oh man, when um, who was the who was the character who died? Um, the Envy kill. You mean Mace Hughes? Yeah, when he died, I oh man, oh man, I I cried. Oh. Well, well, yeah. I mean, he was such a fun character. And and he also just had a kid, also. Yes. So didn't she just turn four or something yeah, like it was, that? Yeah, it was her birthday, and he was going to her birthday, and he called to say, "Daddy's gonna be home soon." And, and the one part was, and the one version of it was, Rin, Winry was at, staying at their house. Yes, uh-huh. Winry was staying at their house in one version of it. And yep, then, that was it. Yeah, that's right, because the, and the day he took her home to stay with them was her, his daughter's birthday. Yes, because her daughter wanted Winry there. <laughs> oh. Come back 
hear you turn! <laughs> I like, I like to think, I like to think he's chasing after her. And he's saying, I'll show you who, who's short, rips off his pants and his wiener's huge. Oh god. Come back here, you! you gotta say first. <laughs> you bitch! I love Ed's running animation in here. Yeah. Now, Ed, don't kill her! Yeah, this was the part where, the, where it crashed last time. Oh, uh, okay. Right. At least in the in the Brotherhood, he eventually re he eventually realized he could. Well, these are these ones right here aren't really chimeras. The the leopards with the uh, arms they're just leopards with no arms on them. God, I put up my health because my health couldn't be at that all, all the time, and I couldn't, and I can't release my potion box anymore. Okay, how many more am I gonna have to kill?
Be nice, come on. Thank you. Oh god, I remember this part. It was somewhere around this part where, where it crashed on me. Uh, oh, okay. Because, I, I don't remember, because I think it was because I kept failing the jumping puzzle. <laughs> Oh, and remember the school shooting that happened, the Florida one, where, by the way, um, it, uh, the kids and lawyers tried to play, um, tried to play video games for it. <laughs> I saw another teacher who tried to do that too. It's like, really? I'm sorry, it's not the video games. People quit, quit trying to use video games as a scapegoat. It won't work. You know what? I think I think um, video game companies should um. Oops. Oh. Um. Should should sue the government. I really think they should. But see, here's the, here's the thing, though. People have tried to do that for decades. And I think they should find. And I think they should finally finally say, "Hey, look, that's enough. We do our part. We we show ratings for recommended ages of our video games. If parents throw these games at their kids as an excuse to not interact they, with them, it's not our do, fault. Uh, they should do a class action lawsuit where it says we are not responsible. This is, it is not our job to, to regulate everybody, everybody who buys one of our fucking games. It's just not our job. Defamation, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it would be a defamation suit. It would definitely be a defamation suit. Hang on, I'm sorry. If they recommend games for mature audiences or teenagers that little kids get a hold of, it's not their fault. Most of the time, bought by... I mean, if they're younger, most of the time it's bought by an adult and given to these kids. I love the pogo stick. <laughs> yeah, that thing's not working. I don't know. It... The problem is, is you can't blame video games for everything. They should no. do, they should do a class action, a full out defamation lawsuit against the government because every time a school shooting happens it's always their fault but, and that's happened for years and years at a point what point does the video game does the video game industry say it's not our fault <laughs> that's what i don't understand hey but i told you i mean people were were trying the same thing when i was a young a younger kid Oh, oh yeah, Doom, yeah, Doom caused the Columbine. No, they just played it. It's not, it is not Doom's fault. That, um, that two psychopathic faggots went out and killed everyone. Yep, exactly. Okay, it's it's you're you're I, I would think Rockstar would have a bigger would would have a bigger thing to to gain from from a class action lawsuit like I'm talking about. Maybe? I don't know. Oh
Oh, thank God we can do that. Because this, because I was just gonna say, this puzzle just got a whole lot tougher, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, people, grab your popcorn. We're gonna be stuck here for a while. Eh. <laughs> um. No, you just. Yeah. Look. Okay. Let's talk about. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the, how much, how much impact school shooters have on the video game community. Yeah. They have a huge effect on the video game community. Because some fuckface wants to go around and kill, kill his fellow students for, for some odd fucking stupid reason, the video game yeah. community gets the worst of it. Yes. Always. Of course. Well, and that's what I don't get. I mean, we'll stick with the video game community for now, but it's always everybody else's fault. And it's not the case. I'm sorry. You just can't say that. It's just... It's just... It's just only someone with, like, a third of a brain would say that. Like, okay, most politicians. All but I... Uh, well, yeah. But I think the problem is people always want someone to be responsible for but it I'm sorry so then why not blame the person who planned all of this out and carried it out you want to blame someone blame him but then but then that would be that would be too easy and that would ruin that person's life well I never forbid there there with this kid right here with the kid who did this the Florida the vet I'm gonna say Val Valentine's Day Massacre too. Here, mm. um, he he has so much, and I and I hate saying it. People are gonna call me racist. Has so much white privilege right now because because his lawyers are using that right now. The fact is. He got an AR-15. Being he was sold in that state an AR-15 because the government doesn't give a shit about anyone but their pockets. Okay. I mean, come on. No one should have an AR-15. Handguns are okay. Shotguns are okay. But no one needs an assault rifle. Okay, and we will get into that debate later because that is not an assault rifle. <laughs> it's a semi-automatic. Okay, hang on. Uh-huh. Yeah, where's my Google Pro? I don't know why it's showing a penis thing. Huh? Wish I didn't look that up. <laughs> But, I mean, beside the point, this 19-year-old kid went out and decided, planned out and decided to murder a bunch of people, students and teachers, uh, wait, wait, wait. but everybody yeah. seems to want to blame everybody else, yeah. except the person who planned it and carried it out. Okay, it is a semi. It is a semi-automatic, but once you put it, once you put the fully automatic, once you put the fully automatic option in it, um, I think it becomes an assault rifle after that. Um, and I always thought like things like AR-15s had um had the had the option for yes, semi or fully auto, but I guess not. I don't care. I don't care. I ain't buying this shit. The problem is, yeah. is I don't care if it's a fucking semi-automatic. You, no. You don't get to have it. 
You no, should, I agree. He you was too get young to it. He, he was too young to have gotten it in the first place. If he was actually the one to go and purchase it and I don't know. No, the problem is is his dad his dad and his stepmom have already have already said we didn't know that this psychopath was living under our roof. Oh my gosh. Which again makes me wonder were you even paying attention to your child oh fuck no they weren't no of course retard a and blonde retard b over there <coughs> didn't give a fucking shit they live in florida the land of easy to get guns they don't give a fuck obviously <laughs> i mean I mean, I, I mean, first of all, this 19-year-old is to blame for his own decisions and actions. I don't care what excuses other people come up with. However, his parents were obviously complicit in this if they had no clue. I mean, what was it? Right about the same time, a grandmother of another boy realized what was going on with him and reported it to someone? Probably saved who knows how many lives? Exactly. But still, okay, it is also partly, er, we were talking about this earlier, it's not fully the, fully the, um, who is it? The FBI's fault for this happening? No. Do not blame the FBI people. No. Because they get calls like that every day. Agreed. It's not fully their fault. But again, I think that goes into part of what we were saying. Everyone is looking for someone else to blame for this. See, see. It's partially this person. It's partially that person. It's partially this one. It's partially... Oh, whatever! The problem this is, is... This 19-year-old... Is, is, I'm going to say this. And you'll probably get mad at me for saying it. Because if the kid was black, if the kid was Mexican, if the kid was, God forbid, he's Indian or Arabic, this kid, this kid would probably already be dead by now. He would be lynched and he would be dead. No, no trial, no nothing. He'd be gone already. FBI wouldn't be blamed. No one would be blamed. He would be going down right now. No. I would hope I would hope and pray not that he would still go through the trial process and, and go through it. Hell no. It's it's I like how people ignore it when white people do Yeah Ignore I, it. I honestly don't think anyone is going to ignore this one. I don't know how you can. Ow, ow. Oh goodness. <laughs> But, but... You know, I just recently started watching again Digimon, um... The, the ones where they had their spirit, their spirit awakened, where they combined with Digimon. Oh, okay. I recently started watching this and that again, whenever I have time with my mom. And I, and I find it interesting and it's good, and I think it's as good as I remember. The theme song sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> the, begin uh? the beginning theme song sucks. <laughs> and Ow. Oh, okay. Ow. Oops. <laughs> there we go. He's dead. Um. No, I like to. Okay, I I don't think that he's gonna get away with this. In no way is he gonna get away with this. And if he does get away with it. Oh, God, there's going to be hell to pay. Well, yeah, because then you will have a lynching. I'll promise you. Oh, oh I'd love to see that. Like... If he's if he isn't held responsible for his he, actions oh, here... exactly. He killed set 14 to 17 people. And injured several others. Uh, I mean, kids and teachers. And obviously, he planned it and carried it out the way he wanted to, he knew exactly what he was doing. 
if he's not held responsible, you will have somebody. You oh, will have no, people. No, he's saying, definitely, I promise. The, the problem is, is he, he's going to die if he is not held responsible. If, if you put him in a mental hospital, they will go to that mental hospital and they will kill him. If he is, does not end up in jail... Well, his attorneys have already taken care of that. If he's feeling any remorse or any any hesitation whatsoever, it wasn't mental illness. I'm sorry. Thank you. Exactly. Try it, and they'll still try it, but no. They'll still I'm try sorry. it because defense attorneys have to be what about the lowest scum of the earth? Mm. Here, come on. Yeah, I mean, how many how many times have you seen these notes on these defense attorneys who go in and defend? People, they know 100%. You, you could say, okay, it's their job. Yes. At what point does it become a job? Is it a job? Or are you just getting on, on letting people get away with... Where, do, where does your job intersect with, I know this person is a mass murderer? Yeah. Wow, that took a lot of hits to kill. Oof. Oh no, yeah, it sure did. I I don't know. I, I don't know how that works. I, like, it, how do you... How, I, I wonder how defense attorneys sleep at night. I do too sometimes. I mean, I just wonder... Okay, so... Was it Ted Kaczynski? That his attorneys went against his wishes? He wanted to go through his whole thing with the court and, and testify and explain his whole manifesto okay, thing. Okay, I'm gonna say that lawyers in general are just assholes. <laughs> okay? And if I ever need help from a lawyer, I'm probably, because of this video, never gonna get help. <laughs> just die! What the fuck?! I know, look at this, good god. And I, I mean, I do understand the process, and I appreciate the opportunity of the of the trial by jury and all this stuff. And that you, I mean, realistically, you do need someone to help you go through the system yes. and, and give defense. Yes. However, <laughs> but there's a point. It's there's a point of where. You know the hair on their back looks like ice cream? <laughs> wow, these things will die! Man! Well, but... No! It's, you can't just tell someone... You can't just tell someone, oh, you get away with it because you're white. That can't work anymore in this country. No. Are we lost by any chance? No. I think you're right. It does, I mean, it, yeah, I agree with you. Oh, I'm sorry, Ed and Al. Al. For and, it, I mean, and obviously that should not work based on any religion in color. I mean, no. that should be a non-given. However... I'm also not naive, you know. I mean, I get it. Thank you. It it's almost it's almost sad how much some some it, it it's gonna sound really awful when I say this that some races get away with things in in, in any in any form in any. I uh, no, I agree. Like, okay. Look at look at what most white people can get away with. Like, I mean, come on, you can't get away with murder. I would hope and pray not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I would hope that as I hope that enough people still have some sense of sensibility to say murder is wrong. Yeah. 
no matter what religion or race you may be a part of. See, okay, with some religions, if you say, if you say, oh, it's a part of my religion, you can get away with denying people service. Yes. Which I think is wrong. In my mind, you have no right to deny gay people a service just because you don't, because your religion doesn't believe in it. No. At no, you get no, you don't even get a choice in my mind at that, at that point. Even though they may have other choices as far as businesses to go yes. to. Yes, but there are laws in place for a reason that say no. And, and the gay marriage law, where where gays can finally can finally get married in this country, mm -hmm. that states that your religion, even if it's part of your religion, you cannot say no. If they're nasty, if they're rude, yes, you can say no, but you cannot use the excuse it's against my religion anymore for that. You can't. There was a person who was just recently sued for it and lost. Yes, I know. And lo and I think they lost their whole business because of it. I believe. I'm not entirely I think. Sure. Yeah. But I believe. So where does where does that freedom of religion stop because obviously if okay if for example if you have see, a muslim free, see, free if you have a now if you have a muslim baker yes who is approached by a gay couple and they refuse to bake their cake which they very well may on the basis of religion then then they get sued like everyone else i would hope so um being Christian, being Muslim, you guys have no excuse. You cannot deny, like in English, if you deny anybody services based on on their skin or anything, hell, I think they throw you in jail. I believe they throw you in jail for hate crime or for hate, for hate crime. I mean, should we start doing that now? I mean, if we have to, it will happen, people. And then they would come back and say, well, we have the freedom of religion. The problem is, is there's a difference between freedom of religion and just being a jack on this phone. Okay, I'm lost. If I have to look up a tutorial on how to get my ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> don't know how I would do with that one. I I mean, I would I, I don't know. <laughs> see your bit see your business, the the job that you do, cannot tell people no. Ever. Oh no, we can't. Well we can if they're if we know that we've had issues with them in the past I, and I, they've I'm been not say, I mean, pains in I the mean, butt. I mean religion but, wise. I'm saying religion wise not Oh no, no. No. I mean well how, how would we? I mean, there would be no precedent, no justification whatsoever for telling someone we can't move your hat, move you from place to place because of our religion. Exactly. Ah. See, <laughs> see, with cake bakers, that's the same. That's the same thing. They have no right. Yeah, you guys are doing an art. You guys are doing a service to people, but you cannot say no. You can't just tell people no just because they're black or gay. Well, no. B well, black, no. Obviously, well, to me anyway obviously that there's no there's no way to say that saying my religion forbids gay relationships of any kind and see what and our, used to and used to be in what, what our countries have and done. used to and used to be in in jewish tradition um uh, In Jewish tradition and re and rules, right e uh, grounds for execution. I think you're thinking of Muslim. Uh, no, it was both. 
Oh, that, <laughs> that, that's right because they're um that's because that's right because there's a fine line between the two religions. Um, extremely fine line. There's an extremely I mean, fine I mean, you line, could you could get into. Line. I saw. I mean, I saw something on on Facebook about a man who was discussing the Quran, stating that it showed it spoke more about Jesus than it did Muhammad. That's the problem. Is I'm not going to say anything on Muhammad. I, I don't want my house suicide bombed at all. Or, well, yes. I, I, and I, I'm and not I saying that and I won't all of them do that. And I won't either. I'm just and saying the one yeah, psychopath that might. <laughs> I'm just saying the one psychopath that might. Right. Is. Is I don't. I, I don't like offending people. And if someone gets offended by what I say, then I'm going to say, well, job well done for me. Uh. <laughs> And second, um, ow, fucker, ow! Man! I am now firmly fucking lost. Um. I guess just keep going, goodness. Well, I might as well keep going until I find the right path. Um. No, when, when you, when you, all of a sudden, you know, I almost really, really, really wish that that freedom of religion, that they specified freedom of religion in the Constitution. I really wish they did. A meaning spelled out exactly what that means and what it mm -hmm. doesn't mean? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because it's basically with bare arms, they, they, they winged it and then they left it to the imagination. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, no, I understand. I mean, I think, you know, I mean, I would like to think that if I were running a business and someone came to me and asked me to make a cake and design a cake, that I would. You know what? I like to think that it's fucking cake people. You can't tell people no I'm making cake. Ah. I, I would, I would hope, I would like to think that I would do that for anyone. Unless it was something... I need, to, I need you to make me a cooter cake. I, <laughs> which unless, for bachelor, which unless for it was something extreme so that I considered extremely yeah. inappropriate, I might make a design and you know I might try, but then maybe go to them and say, "I'm sorry, I, I'm not, I'm not sure I can make the design you're looking for here." If the problem is, it's not even religious. That it's, um, I can't do this. Because when I laugh during my work, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> I'm not making you a wiener cake. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yes. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously you have to set some limits somewhere on what you will do and what you don't, or you might get some who knows what, but... <laughs> but, but, okay. But a wedding, I, I mean, I would like to think that I would be able to help someone... Who can, or at least but, provide but a design also, and, and an option to, for someone. But you also have to think, you, you have no right to say no, especially if someone's going to pay you a high price for your cake. And I mean, like, high price. Like, some of these cakes are... Oh, these cakes are ridiculous! Thousand to two thousand dollars a piece. I mean, especially if you if you're having a large wedding, these cakes are ridiculously expensive. Now, I I mean, I can't speak for them. I oh, completely. I understand. It's kind of like a conversation we've had previously about: Do you attend a wedding of a friend who is? And that's that's up to you. And, you know, that's something that you have to deal with. With your, and, and, you know, how I, your relationship and wanna, is. And I want to say that I would tell someone, "Fuck your butthole and go." Quit being a pussy. Yeah, right. <laughs> Quit being a fucking pussy and go. Yeah, Jesus you know, at, at least acknowledge your friend and go. Or your, you know, especially if it's a family member, show love for your family member and go. Clench them butt cheeks and go. <laughs> 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 But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I get it. I really do. I, I see... I, 
don't know. I see. <laughs> I see that when when people use the excuse it's against my religion to go, I think that's just a pussy in my mind. I I would wonder where where does my my expressing love for for my friend or whoever figure into the equation at this point. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep moving, I just can't keep killing these things. Yeah, just keep going. I think that's your best option <laughs> at this point. I'm lost! Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh yeah, it's amazing watching me fail, thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know what I'm I don't mean that, of course! It's just hilarious, oh my gosh. God damn it! Would you end up where you started? Yes! I'M LOST! COME ON! BE NICE! <laughs> Good thing you're saving as you go, good god. The problem is if I die, it doesn't matter. Okay, come, okay, come on, game. Be nice, please. At least you're in the center of the cave now, that's a good thing. Okay, I'm in the center. Look out! Oh man! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Hello, Vic Miata. He is so much fun. Ow. That sounds like something out of Oran High School Host Club. Does he have a line like that? Thank you! Or like when they don't fully translate someone saying bye, and it ends up bye bye because, um, okay, this is West. Okay, now I know I haven't been here before. Yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> Die, dragon feathery creatures. They're actually. Kind I was gonna say, cool. what in the world are they? Oh no, no, they're poisonous snakes. They're poisonous snakes with wings. I mean, chimeras, obviously, but, like... <laughs> oh, God. I have seven interactions on my thing. I don't want my accounts right now. I haven't looked at mine in a bit, either. I need to. Oh. Okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> That's good. Mine, that can be a question sometimes. <laughs> I kind of need to keep an eye on some of them, especially which I don't. I mean, which I don't mind. I love it, but especially with like Eric when, when he gets really you know, sad, you, you, you have to. So watch many them. of so many of them deal with depression. One of them tried to kill himself last night, and I'm talking with him today. I. Probably, probably his tonight, or probably our tonight and his today, depending on where it is. All right, uh, he's he's close to me at least. I want to oh. say he's on the east coast. Oh, I, I think I know who you're talking about. Do you? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it can't be uh, Mr. S, can it? Or a little less. No. Okay. Thank so God. Okay, so it wasn't little little ass, okay. No, and I am so thankful. I haven't talked with him in a day or two, though. I mean, I send, I try to send him a message each day, and let him know I'm thinking about him. But I have, but no, not him. Thankfully, I would be much more. Go go in his DMs and him and say you better be alive. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I am up. out. <laughs> Fuck yes. Don't scare me like this. Come on now. <laughs> my, my sword. 
Oh! My weapon! My favorite weapon is stuck up there! Fuck, 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 fuck! Eh! Probably. And if there is, I have enough health to survive just about anything, but... Well, that's good. And... Ow, okay, or, ow. Ow, okay, here we go! Okay. But no! What, what, I'm, what I'm saying is... What were we talking about? Oh, I think we were talking about, like, blading or something. <laughs> Crap, I can't remember because we started talking about Little Ass. Oh, we were talking about our our um, notifications there for uh, a bit. No, but we did that before that. Before that. Um, about... Oh, yeah, um, um how freedom of religion... And and um, business, religion and businesses should. Yes, how that works together. Uh huh. Okay, and to kind of go along with this, I mean, and this is just no, people no. in general. It doesn't have anything to do with religion. But I'm looking at Twitter, and there's this thing about a person in this apartment complex. Okay, uh. An ambulance pulled up to an apartment complex and parked in front of the building. And someone sent them a note and said, if this van is for anyone but a number and gave an apartment number, then you have no right to be parked here. What? what yes! Whoa, 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 whoa. What, 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 was the, what was the big problem with that number? If, if this van is for anyone but this particular apartment number, then you have no right to be parked here. I couldn't give a shit if the whole street collapsed. Now move your van from outside my house. Two things, sir. It is illegal to graffiti an ambulance. This is a note. I mean, this is a piece of paper that they left for this, for this ambulance. Second. The ambulance has every right to park out in front of your house because they're an emergency motherfucking vehicle. So oh shut my the god! Fucking vehicle and go sit in your house. Okay. I mean, I'm if sorry, but else, this is they ridiculous. Call the cops on you and you will go to jail. I mean, my I have, god! My question is: Is what 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 was his big problem with with that one apartment? Well, okay, so, and of course all the responses coming in are, this is ridiculous, do people not realize emergency service workers need to respond and park where they need to park? The last thing to think about is, am I blocking somebody's driveway? And then I, and then I know that this dude is probably the same dude who crashed into the side of the thing to just get, get it out from the front. To get out of the way, yeah. yeah. Now, granted, my drivers rarely occasionally now in case people watching don't understand i work for a moving company and they have the big tractor trailers occasionally we'll park our trucks not in the best spot but we might block a neighbor's driveway partially or something like that and normally if the if the neighbor comes to us and says i need to leave for work would you mind pulling your trailer up a little bit my driver will get in the truck and he'll move his van up a little bit for you. Move, move it like three inches that way. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, but that's again, the problem is, is you guys... But then again, they are not an ambulance. Exactly. Okay? Yes, you guys are not an ambulance and you guys do not work for the state. Sometimes. 
if someone has collapsed or is in serious medic in a serious medical issue, why do you care about where the ambulance parks? I'm sorry. You can't. You. The problem is, is as as a, a citizen of the United States, you literally cannot tell that that thing that it has to move. And I'm sorry, but the sad thing is, this was in the UK. What? This this one I'm talking about on Twitter was in the UK. It's not just here. Wow. See, you know, that Brutex thing has really brought out the racists over there. It really has. Wow. And, and, and I don't think this, I mean, obviously this isn't about race. It's just about I'm being selfish and I don't care what anyone else is going through. Don't walk my driveway. But... I, honestly, that's what it all comes down to. Is human selflessness. I don't care about what anyone else thinks or does or says or who, or is. I'm going to do or say what I want. And, and that, don't and interfere with is, me. And that is the sad part about those types of people is that they would gladly, they would gladly Let you die. Ow. Yes, rather than interfere with them and their time schedule. Items must use. Ah. Uh, all better now. I'm gonna keep your ass <laughs> Well, good. Good. Ah! Ow, fuck me. It's like telling a cop, oh, it's, it's like telling a cop to not park in front of your driveway. They're more than likely going to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I'm trying my best to help or defend someone here. Do you mind? <laughs> it, it's like, it's like, it's it's almost it's almost if I found out if I was the person who was who called the ambulance, I would personally take offense to that. Oh, or a family member? Can you imagine? Especially since that person that you said was that you had the problem with, I'm gonna come over to your house and you're gonna have to call the cops to get me off from stomping your fucking face in. Is you uh huh? Is you don't say shit like that? Well, no. All you're concerned about is. I mean, for an example, my father had a heart attack. The ambulance came to try and help him. I don't care where they park. Yeah. I just care that they get in here and help him. <laughs> I, I, oh, goodness. It all goes into the same thing. People are so concerned about themselves. Can you not? Go beyond yourself for five minutes, please. Come on. Oh, come on. You won't move because I put it in front of you. Go fuck yourself. is gone. Hang on. We've been so busy talking I didn't pay attention. But 
No, you're right. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I don't care what race or religion... Well, I mean... I hate the idea of different races because... I look at someone as a human being. And I would hope that others would too, okay, I though, though that's not the case. Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay. But, yeah, I... I... Okay, what happened? I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, screen back up. There we go. But. But religion, race, I don't care. You have to look beyond yourself at some point. Exactly. You have to look beyond the fact that, oh, you live here too? Yeah, that's fine. Good for you. But you, you, you can't... You can't just... outwardly try to... kill and hurt everyone else. I agree with that. Kill? I wonder what his big... Pr I, I Link me that later, and I'll read it, and I'll look at it. If you can remember where it is. Which one? The uh, one where the dude was having a problem with... Uh... With the ambulance being in front of his house? Oh, yes, of course. Because, yeah, I need to see that. It was just on the Twitter news, but I'll link it to you. Ugh. This is going to take me forever. Because <laughs> I'm out of explosives. Uh, of course, I'm not finding it now. Oh, lovely. I will. Or we could flip it over. Ow. Really hate it when bosses corner you. <laughs> and it, um... <laughs> Fuck! Um... That's you. Hate that. Um... I, I, I... I just hate it when people do that. It's like, I hate it when people deny people a service because they're grown up enough or man enough to try to, to try to do the service for them. Oh, the dry bread's streaming today. Um... When, when you're not grown up enough to, to tell someone, okay, I'll do your cake. I won't like it, but I'll do your cake. Like, if if you're not grown up enough to tell, to, to say, okay, I'll do your cake. Yeah. But is there any point where that stops? Where, where you mean, where you can say no? Mm-hmm. There's a point where you can say no if, if the person's being nasty. If the person's being nasty, you, I'm not saying you can't just 
the problem is, is if if you deny more than one person, and plus, I don't think it'd be a smart idea just to den just to deny people doing your take because it's gonna get you in trouble, especially in America. Uh huh. Because because you want to be dumb and selfish. And, and I do, and I do agree with you on this. So don't think that I am pushing you to to try and argue this. My question is: So what if you are a baker, and you have a white supremacist group come to you and ask you to bake a cake and put swastikas and everything else on this cake? See, see, there's a difference between a gay couple coming in and telling you, "I want a goddamn beautiful wedding cake." Uh. To some white, tight, to some white supremacist, tiny cocked little motherfucker <laughs> coming into your store saying, "Oh, put swastikas on my cake." You can fucking tell them no. Because but they would go. In, but then what? What if they sue you too? Freedom of religion. The problem is you're, you're they, discriminating they no against right me. To, they have no right to fucking sue you because that's a group. <laughs> Now, see, that's what I would think, too, but I was just curious, because then, then they could easily turn around and sue you and say, well, you're discriminating against me. And then and then any judge would say, well, you guys are a known hate group who is not only targeted by the FBI, it is watched by the FBI, um, you, you could just walk away right now. And not end up in prison for yeah. Or let's minutes. let's pursue this and see where we end up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's pursue this and see where you end up. Or you can walk away right now, make the cake yourself. It's fucking cheaper. Hmm. Definitely. And you can put whatever rainbow rainbow sunshine swastikas you want to put on it. <laughs> okay. Right. There's no judge in the world that would side with the white supremacists. Come on. And, and you, I mean, obviously that was just for this, for the sake of argument and to say. That was for the sake know, of to see what the fuck I'd say? <laughs> <laughs> because it's fun. And obviously I would say the same thing. I'm sorry, no. That's I'm sorry, fun. no. Get the fuck out of my face. Yes, exactly. I I cannot make that for you. <laughs> and obviously, you would hope that they would show a little more tact. The problem but, is, yeah. is not all white supremacists would just blatantly fucking walk in your store and ask you to do that. Well, no. If they no, want it done, I mean, if, I would, the problem I would is if they want it done, if they wanted it done, they would do it themselves. I would, I would think that enough people in this country... I, I like to think that they're smart enough to where they wouldn't go out in open public and, and try that. <laughs> well, yeah, because, I mean, they have to realize that so many people now would say, Are you insane? <laughs> Why in the world would I ever... Are you insane pulls out this gun? Kind of Are you insane pulls out gun and proceeds to kill them? Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course, about that, of course, but still. I mean, it's... Pulls out gun, Coxie, you better get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought, me being dumb, uh. I rather than <laughs> cum, not chum. Oh. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> That's beside the point. <laughs> uh. I don't know. It. Oh, yeah, this is when they're going to Risen Bowl. Um, <sighs> yeah, uh, the, the, the priest with the uh, Philosopher's Stone. With the, philo the fake Philosopher's Stone, yes. But for some reason, these fake Philosopher's Stones work just like normal Philosopher's Stones do. 
Yes. I mean, they've stated that even if they're at least, even if they're only a partial version, they still grant further power. They still grant you the, the things to do what Ed and Elric do. Mm-hmm. You know what? I think they should have continued the series with Ed always have with with Ed having a philosopher stone embedded in his skin, so he could still have his powers. Mm. And uh, I understand why he handled it that way. I really do. The problem is, is he didn't need to give up all of his powers to do it. He could have given up half of his powers and kept Al sealed in the armor. He didn't really need to give him the full thing. That that's the problem is is he had both of his arms back. Or they could have, or they could have yes. just or they could have just gone and left Ed in the armor or Alphonse in the armor and like Jesus Christ. I liked Alphonse in the armor. He was kinda ugly out of the armor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he was ugly. I think he was kinda cute. But I mean, the whole point of that, of his, of Ed's even joining, agreeing to be this, as they say, dog of the military, was to get Al back in his body. So if you true. have any opportunity, why in the world would you leave him in it? But then why not give, why not give Ed a fucking philosopher's stone then? And he, let him just, he, just let him conjure his body? The problem is, is... You got to remember, he needs, he needs his thing. He's still a state alchemist. He's still a state. Ed is. Yeah, Ed is still a state alchemist. Yes. Well, I mean, obviously not once he gives up his alchemy, but yeah. Holy shit, motherfucking ass crackers, Batman! What the fuck is? Up? Ooh. Wow. Wow, my my. Hang on. My thinking. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was the whole point. So if he had the opportunity... Yeah, exactly. If he had the opportunity, then... But I also understand him not wanting a sac to use the sacrifice of other people's lives to restore his brother. I understand that also. It's just that I don't find the thing satisfactory, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. I understand. I'm going to need to get more growth points later. To the cheat mobile! <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but... Uh, off that topic, it's... Mm. I don't get the point of that. Okay, whatever. No, I, I, what I, what I want, what, what I want in America is, is to that, for businesses not to be able to say no to service. At any point? Unless you're, unless you're nasty, then no, you can't tell someone no, it's against my religion. Okay. But you asked him to do something like really, really ridiculous at that point. Yeah. Like no, I mean you, no, I understand that. Like you can't I, use the I, excuse. I have, it's, I have turned a person down from a move one time, and I've been doing this a long time now. What did you turn him down for? Well, because every time she turned around to me and asked me to give her a quote for a move, it was complaining about her family and. Every time we sent her something, then she would turn around and it would change constantly. And she was not particularly the nicest person to deal with. Okay, I, I understand. 
<laughs> but then that wasn't that wasn't it's against my religion. No. No, it wasn't. It was it was strictly the fact that we could tell from the I mean we've done this long I had done this long enough even at that point, and this was a few years ago, to realize that there's just no the issues people. we were already having would have continued throughout the move and probably past that point. How and there much? were further issues there that did not have anything to do with the move that would have made things even worse. How much shit did this woman have? Not very much, considering. And she was constantly calling, and half of the conversation with her each time would be about how her daughter was... How her daughter and son-in-law were taking advantage of her, and how she was... I, I don't know. I... Inverted controls. Yes. Uh... No, never mind, I can't do anything about it. I am lost. Don't know what to do. I'll figure it out eventually. Ooh! I didn't know that could hurt you. Game. Um. See, okay, when you're complaining at someone's workplace, okay, then you can tell them no. That's fine with me. Tell them, tell them no all you want if they're being nasty, if they're being a brat, or they're being a dick. Yes. But don't Because we do run into that occasionally and sometimes our sales reps even will call in and say, We don't want this. I booked this and I put this tie a commission on it because we want we don't want this move. Because they can tell already how this person is going to be going forward. They've done this long enough to know that this ends up in trouble. <laughs> But at the same time, I look at these, I look at these other people who refuse jobs, and I say, you know what? Why not do your presentation as you would with anyone else? If you don't want it, that's fine. But you don't discriminate against people. You offer, and if if that's what you feel, then I'm not saying do a bad job with your presentation, but take yourself out of the equation somehow where it's not I'm sorry, I'm just refusing to work with you. Like, it sounds like maybe maybe the the people that you're talking about are just being completely and blatantly unprofessional and not wanting yes. to work with this person. Yes! Because, oh, they might have said something earlier that, that pissed them off. Which could be. <laughs> and I mean, people, okay. people in a stressful situation can be rude, can be short, can be who knows what. But I think people real should realize that. It's part of the job, and yes, yeah, yeah, it's kind of part of the job. <laughs> you're you're catching someone at a time where where they're moving out of the place that they've lived for however many years, mm -hmm. and however long they've been there, and however many memories that have been there. Uh. You know, we've always said, and it's a fact, working in a moving business, that's always one of the most stressful things in your life, even at the best of circumstances. 
But we've also dealt with people who the husband got a new job and the wife just hates the idea of leaving and you deal with her throughout the move and she's just hateful and spiteful and everything you do is a horrible thing because she doesn't want to do this. And at that point, that's when you tell her to shut her fucking mouth and pay you. In my own... And, and we re- I mean, we've done enough. Most of us in our office in particular have done enough where we realize that's what's going on here. She just doesn't want to do this. And so we know how to deal with that and handle her properly. You know. Well, how do you handle to at least that? make it as, as stress-less as possible. <laughs> see, but, see, but then I can't work in your job because once I get stressed, I get pissed. And, yes. And, um... No, it takes a certain person, that's for sure. And I'll tell you, some of the guys I work with are phenomenal at this. They go in, they assess the situation, they know how to deal with people. But yeah, they are they do a great job. The guys we deal with, for the most part, are fabulous at that. If there is an issue, they know to step aside away from anybody else hearing and address it directly with us instead of involving anybody else. We usually try to warn them going in if there's a situation we know might be a little more stressful than normal. See, see, at that point, if you're a driver, I would think it would be good to take the person who, who called you aside and say, I'm sorry if... If this keeps up, I'm not going to be able to do my job. Um, I think you should be able to do that. Say, fi- fix the situation. I don't want to be in a, in a, in the middle of a full blown fist fight because your family decides whatever they don't want to move and they're going to attack me. If at that yeah. point, if at that point that shit happens, I think your driver should be able to you know leave. <laughs> Yeah, and and that you now it's extremely extremely rare, but I have seen that once or twice. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Uh, <laughs> uh, you see it once or twice where where it's so where it's so bad that they just have to leave. Yes. Like I mean, how bad was it? And I've seen a couple where the police officers were involved during the situation as well. On top of that. It it all runs together. Now most of the police most of the times when the police officers were involved it was because it was a divorce situation. Okay, and then the husband or the wife comes up and just tries to wreck shit. Yes. And and your guys try to stop them. My guys are simply there doing their job because they've been called in to ha- to move this one person out. You know, imagine if, if your driver's job was to at all costs protect the person's shit, no matter what. Oh, oh my God. Like. No, like we have any had a means couple, necessary. Now, and, and the sad thing is, and and I haven't seen this for a few years, thankfully, but we've had a couple too where it's one person who is in an abusive relationship who is getting out Ooh. and doesn't know if and doesn't want the other person to know until they're gone. Well, those are the best situations where where you're coming to move someone's shit out and the boyfriend's there. And the boyfriend's there and says, what are you touching my shit for? Or what are you touching your shit for? Well, and that's a lot of the problem, because when our surveyors, I've had our surveyors go in, and the person, the woman or man, it can be either way. Yeah. They, you need to make sure that we only list these certain things, because the others say, we can't touch them, and this person can't know that I'm leaving. Exactly. See, that may... But then, if the husband gets violent, or the yes. wife gets violent, yes. and they start running at you, 
Um, you're gonna have to, in my mind, your drivers have every right to just start punching, kicking, and shit. If they're just trying to hurt you. Anything. And that's usually, those are the situations normally where they've made arrangements for a police officer no, uh, to be on site. You're coming with me. <laughs> because, because they just want to make sure that the boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife, yeah. whatever the situation may be, doesn't show up and cause issues for anyone. <laughs> And they've made arrangements that if you'll be here at this certain time, we'll make certain that the guard or whoever is, is here at that time, and we get them out of there. Exactly. And your job is way more stressful than being a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be. <laughs> like, like, I would say I don't want to even do half the crap that your staff has to do. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, because I don't care if a police officer's there. I'm beating the shit out of the abuser. I don't care. Man, woman, whatever. Whoever, yeah. Whoever, whatever. They're getting several Bruce Lee kicks to the face. With chicken sounds. And I can't imagine that if my guys knew the details, anything would stop them from doing oh, that. In no. Some instances. No, it's... it's you almost want to say it's better not to tell your, your drivers what the fuck's going on and why they're no, doing some, this. I mean, obviously, at some point, we have to warn them this is a divorce, this is a, this lady or a man is moving and there will be a police officer on site. I mean, they can kind of read into their own. They can kind of figure out what's going on. My boss point. didn't tell me anything because I'm a violent asshole. Let's see what's <laughs> going on. <laughs> Oh, an abuser kicking his ass. <laughs> yeah, if he shows up here, we're going to deal with that right now. We're, we're, tell you. we're, we're the big tough movers. We're going to deal with it. We'll, we'll deal, deal with it, it, sweetie. We'll deal with it. <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you, I mean, some of my guys are, nor you know, what we look at is, re, you know, normal. I mean, you wouldn't look at them um, automatically and think, oh, they're movers, they're huge. and But some of them are. I mean, I've got a couple of guys who are drivers that are probably about your height and big guys. Yeah, that's what you need for the job. Is like, I've been told, I, like, that I've been told at hotels, like, if we ever have a, if we ever have a, if we ever need a bodyguard in our place, uh... You're, you're the first one we're calling. <laughs> yeah, can we call you? You've can, got can a we, job here can, anytime you want it. Yeah. Yeah, can, 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 can we count on you, please? <laughs> yes. I have, I have, I have worked with drivers like that, and you look at, and, I, and you know, I, I think that's kind of what people expect when they think of movers. They think big, bulky. Now, some of my guys oh my are not, are not necessarily that Visually, but I'll tell you, they're strong. Oh, the, you kind of have to be in their in their job. I will tell you, these guys are strong. You don't mess with them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure your staff is pretty well equipped to deal with just about anything, whether it's a fight, whether it's a fight or other. Yeah, I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they'll be they'll be able to handle whoever, gun or not. If they have a, it's a yeah. Gunner, I, I, I would still suggest that you guys get your guys get bulletproof vests. <laughs> Just in case. And, and obviously those are the situations where the person leaving has made other arrangements for extra support to be around. Oh, oh, in yeah. case there's an issue. Oh, um, yeah, just in case you try shit, uh, police officer. I, I, I like to think that your job is way more stressful than you make it out to be. Because <laughs> you're the one sitting behind the desk. You don't have to deal with any of these lunatics. Well, we deal with them over the phone or by email. The guys are the ones, unfortunately, who actually have to be out there. <laughs> I, you know what? I actually think most of your guys should have at least some self-defense training here. Like, I, I can kind of guess that some of them do do, like... 
boxing, anything that that has to do with you know self defense. I would kind of guess that. At, you know, at least you know. I will tell you if they. It wouldn't surprise me if they did. And I wouldn't, it would not be the worst idea in the world for any of them. And I know some of these guys come out of tough areas. I mean, I will guarantee you they do. Oh, I know no, for a no. fact. Yeah, no, it, it's, they're big. They're big. They, they're known to be big. And because they're big, they're in their, the job that they're in. There's not much else because they're so big that they that I'm not saying all your guys are big, like no. like so big like me that they're like I could there are very few things that I could do. Hmm. Like I mean, my job description entails bodyguard ship, bouncer, which is the same thing, or hmm. doorman. Yeah. Or doorman. Mm -hmm. Like those are my those are my options for for a job if I wanted to get one. I yeah. can't physically do either of those, so I'm kind of stuck with with what I do now. Yeah. And this isn't exactly a job either, so I do this for fun. Yeah, right. <laughs> and plus, if the problem is, is if is if I saw a man getting handsy with his woman out, it, except for if it's PDA, then I'm, oh, yeah, that's I, I'm looking the other way like, not my business. Yes, <laughs> exactly. That's a different situation. Than, like, yeah. if, I see some, <laughs> if I see someone getting handsy with their girl out in public, I'm going to kick your ass. You're more than likely going to get your ass kicked. Or you're, ah. or you're abusing your child, or... Oh, God, yes. I mean, and we're not talking about smacking your kid's bottom or something like that if they've been misbehaving. We're talking about something else, if, but yeah. If you're yelling at your child and, you're, and your child seems just blatantly scared of you, I'm going to kick your ass. I don't care what the Actually, situation yeah. is. Yeah, if it's, not, if it's not fear of I'm in trouble and my mom is yelling at me, it is just fear it's of... Not, it's not, you're oh, gonna... oh, my, oh, my grandma's going to beat me with a shoe because I've been an asshole. No. <laughs> right. Right, we are specifying a difference here. There is there, not. There, there is. There's a difference between discipline and, and being and your you, child. You just blatantly abuse your children. Yes. <laughs> and, or, uh, Alphonse, use this. Yes, because uh, trust me, I'm old enough that um, that my that I and my gen my classmates and other people who are my age would say my parents disciplined me, spanking. Etc. Oh, I'm not saying but, my, my mom, but it was, my grandma, but it was, my but, grandma, it was but it was, but it was, but it was, and we will, we will honestly tell you we're grateful that it was never abuse. Exactly. It was I discipline. never, I never really felt any abuse from my grandma or my mother. No. But from, there's a difference, and you realize that as you get as you get past but from the point. My uncle. Yeah, there was abuse there. Yeah, you know the difference. There was blatant abuse, and a few times where he threatened to kill me. Okay. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. That even was... as a even as a young child, you know the difference. You yeah. know I'm being punished versus further. Yes. I mean, even as a kid, I never thought my parents abused me. Though I can I, though I can remember one or two times where I threatened to run away, <laughs> but that was different. <laughs> exactly. That's that was that was just a kid, and I don't want to be disciplined, and I'm mad about it. That wasn't abuse. Can Ed jump, or is, can Elfons jump in here? <laughs> so, do you have any control over Alphonse in this? Yes, I do. You can call him, tell him to tackle, and what else? Um, give him weapons and stuff. Because I see him, I mean, obviously I've seen you give him weapons, and I've seen him in the screen occasionally, but I didn't know how far that went. That's about it. That's about it. I, I wish you could play as Alphonse. That would be awesome. <laughs> but I, I mean, I can understand why they don't, but for the most part, but still. Alphonse, use tackle! Alphonse, right. a chew! 
<laughs> that would be awesome. Someone edit. So, someone clip clip what I just said, and add it to every time. Every time. So, every time Alphonse uses ch tackle. Oh my God, that's Alphonse funny. Alphonse, it's you. <laughs> oh. And then put and then put um, ask ask Ketchum's voice where um. Where um. Where Ed says Ed, Ed or er, Alphonse Tackle. Oh God, that's funny. Wow. But yeah, I mean, my guys. And but the problem, well, and, the, and it's not a problem. It's. You know, I'm guessing that this is one of the side stories, like from a movie that I haven't seen. Maybe. I haven't seen this either. Me either. I, I might as well keep playing it. And by the way, the schedule for this, if you actually do get this far in the video, is every Sunday we will be doing a game, but for now we're gonna keep we're gonna do this game. We're gonna do this I'm gonna do a full playthrough of this game with Alcestis here. So yeah. Um anyway. No, it's it's I I feel like your your guy should at least have some self defense training to I mean it's not like they have to be full martial arts mas masters like Jet Li or Bruce Lee or Oh no No, <laughs> I'm just saying at least have at least have some at least have some some idea of, of how to block a punch or how to you know, I I'm not saying that your guys are the kinds who would get in a bar brawl over something. No, oh, wait. no. Oh, wait, you've probably never seen them drunk, so... Most of them, no. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> oh, you! You! Mirror! I don't want a mirror! Ooh, I love you, you're so cute! That's the kind of drunk I can see some people being. Oh, uh, God. It's called the mirror guy, and the I love you guy. Oh dear God! Yeah, I don't even want to know. The the mirror guy is the dude who says, "Mirror," and you're drunk, and he's like so drunk that he's just telling everybody to come here and just. Oh dear, yeah. It, it's you, no, I, I mean honestly, I don't think that's the worst idea. It's also no. like my like my boss wanting to wanting to have us in the office, and probably some of the guys too, go through. The whole CPR training. See, I, I, you should, I, I should, you should suggest that to your boss. At least have some of the drivers get at least a little training on how to ha handle themselves if they, if they already don't. It, it would be ask them first if they know how to handle. If they at least know a, a little bit of it. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I can think of a couple off the top of my head that I know for a fact to do. Hmm. I guess you can one, do uh, one of them is a pastor, a uh, youth pastor in a in an inner city church oh, in so, Dallas. Yeah, so he so he obviously knows how to handle himself. He knows how to handle himself, and so does his dad who works with him. Yes, they, yeah. They, they, know, they how know how to handle themselves in there. I can guarantee you they know how to handle themselves. And his dad is one of the big, big guys that I've told you about. He's one of the big guys? Yeah. Okay, so he's one of the bigger ones. Uh, yeah, I can guarantee you they know how to handle themselves. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm talking about, like, it's just, like, a little, a little bit of boxing at the gym or... A little bit of something, a yeah. Little bit of taekwondo, or yes. a little bit of judo, or something. Yes. Like, I would say, I would say, Monday, go to your boss and ask him. Tomorrow, go to your boss and ask him. You know, our drivers could use some hand-to-hand -hand combat training, just in case something happens to where, to where they're getting punched or they're getting assaulted by someone to where they because it because it's rare but they do occasionally end up in those situations and if we have some guy running running up to them and trying to 
stop them from doing their job, can they defend themselves? Yes. It, exactly. Just suggest it to them. It's not, just tell them it's not something that has to happen. It, it's just a, it's just a suggestion. It's. Yeah. It's just, I'm not saying, okay, force them to do it. If they want, no. if they want no. to do it, if they want to do it, do it. If they don't want to, they don't have to. It's Well, no, I agree. But it's kind of like but when I was out sick in December, my and I don't remember what the situation was, but one of my coworkers sends me a text and says, hey, would you be interested in going through CPR training? And of course, I was like, "Yes, was this, I have." Was this, I have was, this when, was this when I knew you, or was this before? This was when you knew me, and of course, I was like, "Oh yes, I haven't had training in years. I'd I'd love to go through it again." You know, you know? one of these days, I might as well, <laughs> might as well go to a CPR seminar and try to learn again. It's it's not the worst idea. No, 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 it's not. It's like it's like buying a punching bag and and punching it again. I need to. I need to do both of those things. <laughs> yeah. I I need to do both of those things one of these I times. Mean, seriously, it's it's not the worst idea. I mean, I haven't had training since I was working at that Girl Scout camp, and it's. I I need to go through it again. I mean, it's not like when I was living with my grandmother, where it was probably a little more. Um, you know, it might have made a little, been a little more use, but anyone at any time can need help, and there's nothing that says it hurts to know it. There's no age restriction. There's no. There's nothing that says that anybody wouldn't need help. Exactly. Yeah. And that goes for train. That goes for martial arts or, or self defense training as well. Of any kind. It, I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, you think about our guys, and there's, you, there's no guarantee, yeah. but. Yeah. But then again, I mean, we had a co-worker at one time who a couple of ladies and I had said at different times that we wouldn't be surprised if he was the one to walk in and shoot up the office. Oh, did now, he never did. He never did, thankfully. But, yeah. I mean, did you get rid of him eventually? Uh, I want to say he was deported. Oh, yeah, you did tell me about him. He, and I, I honestly can't say I was surprised because looking at when he left the office, of course, we had to clean out his email account. The office email account. Now. Not his personal stuff. And the emails that were on there. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that were, were just disgusting. But between his girlfriends and his attorneys and everything else, I was much more than I ever wanted to know. About that man. I mean, he. I don't care if it was an email or in person. He was physically, he was verbally abusive to these women. And the attorney conversations were more than I ever wanted to know.
I mean, and I understand that, but oh my. It's And that going along with the fact that he would carry I don't know how many guns in his car and had more at home. Didn't help the situation either. Did, didn't help the situation at all, knowing how volatile he was. I mean, this wasn't like my mom, where I know beyond a shadow of a doubt the only time she would ever pull out her gun was if she was being physically attacked by someone. No question in my mind whatsoever. That is the only reason why she has her gun, is for self-defense, and that's it. Come or back to defend here, someone. Um, yeah, and I understand that. That guy, I don't know, <laughs> and I don't mean to, and I don't mean to laugh about that. It's a funny thing. It's I, I honestly don't know. But he, I had run across him lying to me on several occasions on top of all of that. And so to have that, just, yeah. It just made you wonder what really was going on, what else really was going on. On his work email. Who knows what was on his personal email. I mean, think about all the stuff he had in his personal email. Oh, God. <laughs> it, it, and this goes back to your, to the drivers. Is you gotta, yes. You gotta worry about their safety and you gotta almost want to, okay, not force them to go, but they got but in my mind they've got to go at least for a little bit at least have a little knowledge from from someone who knows how to do it yes well but it, it kind of goes into the same way we equip them with phone numbers and information on the sex trafficking that they do run into and i have had several drivers tell me that they have have they ever run into it in someone's house um not that I know of, at least with my guys, but see, it wouldn't surprise me if someone had. Like, okay, if you see a 12-year-old on, on the side of the street saying, big boy, do you want, do you want something? No, you take them to the police station and keep your wiener in your pants, okay? Usually, usually that's at the truck stops. And I mean, please keep your wiener in your pants. She's like 12. <laughs> yeah, and, and and some of these guys are parents of kids about this age. I mean, as soon as we gave them the information, they were like, yes, I've, I've seen this, thank you. And it's in their phone, and they've got it. Yeah. You know, and, but and it's you, almost I, would, the problem is I would not be surprised if they'd use it. I would not at oh, all. Oh, there, there, there have probably been several times where they, where, where they probably keep a copy of what you gave them in their car. It wouldn't surprise me at all with some of these guys. I mean, try, I mean, moving industry reputation aside, these guys, the ones I've run into for the most part are great guys. They would not tolerate that for a minute. I, I don't care. Now, this is, now granted, my office is United Van Lines. It's... An excellent, you know, is a company with a great reputation. You know, at least, you know, at if there are laws, they, they, they try to obey them, you know, that kind of thing. They do try to follow what they're, you know, obey what the laws state and stuff like that. And some of these other companies I can't speak for. But these guys, I've gotten to know them working at this agency for about 10 years. They're great guys. They, I mean, I've met some of their kids. A couple of their kids come and work for us occasionally. They're, if they have any chance of helping some of these kids, they're going to. Yeah. 
that was just mindless banter from the the game. It wasn't even really worth reading. Okay. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> My little son just sent me a note. He's so cute. Who? South? Uh-huh. Oh, he's... Okay, he's fine. Yes, he's fine. <laughs> and we just exposed him on the entire... God damn it! Thank you! <laughs> God damn it! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But... Ah, whatever. As long as we don't say where, where he lives... We'll be fine. Nope, and that that you will never get out of me. I'm sorry. You you already told me where he lives. But we we have not stated that online on the internet, and I will not. And we will not because I don't need him attacked. Jesus Christ, poor little dude. Poor little kid. He's so sweet. I've never actually talked to him before. Haven't you? Yeah. He probably, he's he's kind of shy, so that might be an issue, but yeah. If you get the chance, go for it. He's a sweetheart. Oh god. I wish you could change um your arm from just the 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 knife that he has on it. Oh the blade that he normally yeah. Can't you at all? Nope. Really? You could, like, pick up weapons and stuff like you see me use, but that's about it. You can't change it at all. I... Yeah, it would probably be better if your, if your workers did go and, um... go at least get a little... A little training. And no, I, w I would agree. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't hurt for anyone, but especially those guys that are walking into who knows what sometimes. And even... I mean, granted, even with all the rules the government has in place now, which started a, a couple of years ago, I think, or so, maybe, maybe a little more than that, about background checks and having to clear all this stuff to work for these co moving companies and go into people's homes and stuff like that. You still have to know how to protect yourself. For the longest time, the government didn't regulate it at all oh, yeah. in that way, as far as 
the helpers and the people who would go like, into people's I mean, I mean, besides laughing as as anybody should at, at the person who I'm about to talk about, is there was this dude in, that used to live in the building. He's gone now, I think. Uh-huh. Um, and he, uh, when we were moving in, and our stuff was just coming because we were sleeping on the floor. Yes. All of a sudden you heard from in the hall because we had our door open so they could get our furniture and stuff in. You shall not pass! <laughs> oh my god, really? Cause he, yeah, he was, he had a problem with the moving and all our stuff. That was funny. Wow. Hmm. Oh, your screen is gone again. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see again? Or uh, not yet. Okay, I hope you can see now. Or is it black again? No, that's better. I swear to God on Jesus' asshole, I am going to kill someone! Jesus Christ, <laughs> fuck! I'll be right back! Third time it's crashed? Something like that, I think, yeah.
Okay. Just... <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um... It's... So who is this guy? I don't know. He's a guy with a crank. I see that. takes his games of tag way too seriously. That's funny. Fucker! I was just gonna shoot him with a gatling gun. Where'd he go? Yeah, Alphonse, beat him up. <laughs> right? Which way the fuck did he go? Oh god, I lost him. Um. It's. It, and we're, we're gonna go back to the. You can't refuse service to anyone who's n not. Who, who you don't believe in their religion. Or in what they in what they stand for, because <laughs> if you, the problem is, is if if that is allowed to happen, oh, Goku. Thinks but again, even that you agree has limits. But. Actually, I don't really. No, I think you shouldn't be able just because your religion says, "Oh, it's against my er, oh, it's against what I stand for." Mm -hmm. I I don't I don't want I don't want to do this. You can't. That's not. There's a difference between okay. It goes under the separation of state and, um, state and, what is it called? It's state and Church state. and state. Church and state. And, um, that is, that is hitting the line of church and state, where you can't just refuse someone because you don't believe in, in what they believe in. Okay? It's just, it's just not how business works. You have to separate the two. Unless your business is all oh, Christian things. We sell Christian we sell Christian vaginas here. Um Christian, Christian, Christian Whatever's Okay. If that's your business, then that's your business. But right. you can't just refuse people service. If they come in to buy your stuff and they're gay. Because there are gay Christians. Yes. And the problem is, is another thing is, you're losing money. Mm -hmm. Is you're losing, is you're choosing to lose money at that point. And it's like with Amy's Baking Company, where, where, okay, example. Like, in a restaurant, you cannot, it is illegal to refuse service to someone because they are gay or black. You cannot have those rules in your thing. You cannot say, okay. no black people. That is, right. that is illegal and you will be shut down. Agreed. The, 
the oh I can't serve you I can't serve you because you're black or gay is not gonna fly either. This is the restaurant mm -hmm. business where you where the customer is always right, no matter what. Hmm. Well that's another question, but Oh, there's my poison stuff. My my question my issue is with that and it's not even really an issue, oh, I should say. Can I say something here? Um, if Ed, how if, in the world if, would bullshit, someone Elfon serving in a poison. restaurant ever know that? What? How in the world would someone serving in a restaurant ever know that? It's not like a it's, wedding cake place where someone is coming into you and saying, I want uh, this cake. It's, it, I think it's... It's a, it's they guess it and they just don't want to, and the servers just don't want to serve you, or the owner just doesn't want to serve you or deal with your shit. Then that's ridiculous. And that's when they get in big trouble, especially if they own yes. a franchise. Mm hmm. And the people say, well, you can't just do this. Mm hmm. No, really? and, and I, again, if I were in that situation, I would hope that I would not refuse anyone's service based on any kind of I, I'm predisposed. Pre I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that that you would go to jail. That someone would probably have you. That it, it. I'm pretty sure that I'm not saying it would be your fault. Your it, it, and plus, it would be entirely your fault. You would be in jail at that point. Is that? If you refuse someone's service because because they're gay, come on. You first of all, at that point, really have no no longer right to be my friend. Um, <laughs> second, okay. you have no right to actually be a human being if you just refuse someone because they're black, black, Latino, or any other race that there is. Agreed with that one, yes. But... You just the problem is, is you can't just go around saying no to people who come in and spend their money at your business. You'll lose I think you'll honestly I think these people the fact that they are saying we are discriminating against you based on this are causing their own problems. The pro if you the, don't want to work is, with is, someone is then is then that's how you said about the murderer and everything else is everybody wants to blame everything else is yes. then that's then you saying you don't want to deal with the problem so so oh it's their fault that's that that's the point of you're you're not wanting to take responsibility for the fact that you and I'm not saying you are you are um um a homophobic racist asshole no that would be just right. that would just be you at that point not wanting to take responsibility for the mistake that you made. Mm -hmm. So really? so then we're back at a point where 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 you say, oh, it's their fault because they're just causing their own problems. And at yes. those points, I would say, okay, I agree with you, but at that point. You also got to realize that there is so much discrimination against the LGBTQ, um, the get, uh, LGBTQ, other races, or uh, the Latinos, the blacks, the whatever else is the the, the little blue people that you don't fucking see, because <laughs> because they're 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 weird because they're they're weird and they're scary. I think that goes against anyone. Anything that is different from you is scary. Exactly. You see... I mean, you, you and I have had previous conversations about... And it's not... And it goes all the way across. I mean, any... And I hate that race thing because... See, again, it, it's... But it's there in certain circumstances, and I can't dispute that. So, anyone, is, I mean, I know, that, that I know I, that there are issues. It, I know that there are issues when, 
people from Japan Ooh. discriminate against African people. I know well, that there okay, are issues the when, is, when, the when the black the race, people, when black African people, people discriminate PTT, against, PTT, PTT. I know that there are times when, I know that there are times when black people discriminate against white people. Because they do the same thing to, because they do the same thing to them. It, it's, it goes, acro it's, it's, it's across the board. It's, it's, across it's the not, board. it's not just one, like, I've heard, it's not I've just heard, one group. There are some times where I've heard black people say, oh, white people are just the most disgusting pigs I've ever heard, and I'm like, and, okay, I'm gonna say I have no right to talk about racism whatsoever because I'm half black, I'm, I'm half black and I'm half white. Uh -huh. I have no right to talk about, oh, black racism, white racism, but I identify mostly as black. Uh -huh. Even though I look a lot lighter than I am, because, well, I don't go out in the fucking sun, bite me! Uh... <laughs> Right. Don't go in the fucking yeah. sun. Um, yes. But I have every right to say, no, you can't call me nigger. Yes. But but then you can also say no to me, you can't tell me no. And it it also goes back to the sexual assault thing also. Yes. Where everybody's jumping on the bandwagon, and it kind of ruins the whole, the whole act, an actual sexual assault victim being sexually assaulted, and now they're thought of yes. as just one of the group. Yes, because, I mean, I honest, I completely agree and understand that there are women and men who have been sexually assaulted. Yes. I my heart breaks for them. I get that completely. Don't. But then it's because of the bandwagon people who who you then almost kind of lose sympathy for them because of the bandwagon people. Yes. Because now everyone is jumping on and saying, oh, I'm just... Really? And it's like everyone who is in any position of authority or has done well now is a subject to their accusations. It's... it's I, I almost hope I don't become a big YouTuber. Because I don't want... I don't want to all of a sudden be a big YouTuber... And have some fucking little bitch come out and say, oh, he sexually assaulted me, when I can't go anywhere. Yeah. Which, and it, it's sad, but I think that's kind of where we're at. That anytime anyone succeeds or gets somewhere that, that's the problem are, is, is, it's you know, find a way it's find a way to bring it's find a way to bring them down and make them Is the problem, and take advantage is, is of that. Then you face a problem there, because once you try to bring them down, and if it's false, like James, oh god, like James Franco, um, almost killed himself over that when that girl yes. said that. Yes. Yes. And of course, the people that knew that know him jumped in and said, "That's." You're ridiculous. That's impossible. He would never be able... He would... No, and I do understand that people... I mean, obviously, there are people who have committed horrid crimes, and others around them had no clue. Hell, with Nazis? They're still getting the fuckers nowadays. They're still getting the Nazis nowadays. For yeah. For what they did. Yes, but... And there are also people who did wonderful things to try and help other people in that situation as well that we're now finding out about. That hid it for so long, and it wasn't something that they did outwardly. It wasn't something for attention. It was just something they did. <sighs> I don't know.
it it's insane. It, it really is. It, it's our our society is at a point. Whatever I need to gatekeep or whatever. Um, no, it's almost, you almost want to say to the racist, don't be racist because, well, just don't. But then you almost, but then you want to say, okay, they're racist, that's how they choose their life. And you can't do anything about it. You know. Damn it. You know, I think back to wasn't it South Pacific that musical by Rodgers and Hammerstein? I don't know. That had that that had that song about being carefully taught to be to judge people based be afraid of people based on the color of their skin or their nationality. Jumping puzzles. And, fuck you. <laughs> there was a song in that in that musical that was based on that and of course South Pacific was the army being over in in this Pacific Island yeah and one of the soldiers falling in love with an with an island girl and one of the ladies falling in love with a pl with a plantation owner on the island uh -huh. who was French and had married an island girl yeah. at one point and she died. Stupid fucking French people. <laughs> <laughs> the French point, uh, right now, yes. I, um, <laughs> I'm French, okay? I'm French. I'm, I'm actually partially French at some point, too, so I... Yeah, whatever. Oh my god, I got um, it. Yeah, um, but no, it's, it's, you're, you're always taught there in school and yes, in school, you are taught to be afraid of certain colors, depending on where you are. You are taught to hate certain colors, color of people, and the school system can deny it all they want, but no matter what. Do you want to know why I make my videos so long? Hmm. It's so why? No, it's so nobody can go through because no one wants to sit for four hours watching a video <laughs> unless they sit here for. Let's see. Okay, we started at two, right? We started at around one, but not recording. We've been recording for about. Two and a half to three hours. Probably something like that by now, yeah. Um, and, and nobody's going to want to sit here and go say, Al, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. No, they're not going to want to sit through this and do that. They're well, gonna... school, school system aside, I can't remember, I mean... Maybe it was just the schools I attended in the area I grew up, areas I lived in, but I, I can't remember really having that 
See, I, no. Into me, I'm into me saying, at school. However, I'm not saying I can all also, are like I can that. also say that I can also say that my parents made made damn sure that I did not look at anyone that way. Exactly. Is is I don't see that even if you did grow up in some place like fuck your sister Alabama, um, that you would end up that way. Because your parents would make sure of it. Oh, my, my parents made 100% sure that we did not look at someone based on the color of their skin. But not everybody, but not everybody's raised that way. I was Agreed. Raised, I was raised that way. And I am that way because my skin is a different color. Mm-hmm. Than the pure white Aryan nation bullshit. Yeah. Now, my, even my dad's parents my big, had... My big problem is... Even is, okay. had... Had... Uh, uh, good heavens, and I'm not thinking of the right term right now, but uh, foreign students, uh, exchange students... That's the right Come word. in and, and stay at their home from different nations and treated them exactly as they did any of their other kids while they were there. And my dad had, and we've talked, you and I have talked about this, my dad had a huge family. Oh, yeah. But even now, my grandparents, who are German-American and probably more going back, my grandfather was big into the ancestry and studying that and Cherokee and everything else. They, and this was bef this was even before my grandfather started digging into all of that. Right now, they have kids who are uh, grandchildren and probably even great grandchildren at this point who are in interracial. It's it's unavoidable to have. The problem is, is I saw a picture of, and it's already starting too, and it's really pissing off the the white the white nationalists and the people who who believe heavily in in no race mixing and all that. Um, it's yeah, already happening. Is is soon there are going to be black people with blue eyes, right? Oh, can you imagine how gorgeous? Oh my gosh! They're going to look. The problem is, is they're going to look like me better skin complexion, but uh, <laughs> is they're going to look like me, but they're going to have blue eyes. Is they're going to have bright blue eyes. Oh my god, how beautiful. And I mean, even, my, even mine, I have I have the dark the dark hair of my Cherokee ancestors. My hair's pitch black, actually. But I have, but I have blue eyes. Exactly. Which is, of course, the German. Exactly. Um, and I actually... See, that's the weird thing. I actually have... Because the only reason my Cherokee blood... And actually the German blood, too, is so high is because it's on... Both sides of my family. My mom's mother... And both of my dad's parents have German ancestry. Uh -huh. Both of my grandfathers are half Cherokee Indian. I want to do the 23 Me, but I don't have enough money oh. for it. Oh, oh you should. Or the, or the uh, Ancestry.com has it, too. I mean, unless you're paying for them for me. I swear to God. All right, you need to stop that now. <laughs> Can you see now? Yes. No, but either one of them, I think, would be a great opportunity. Because I would love to do that. Oh, yeah. Like, my grandfather went through the whole... Because if I find out... Tracing I'm, back and figuring because if out, I find oh. out... Because if I find out I'm more than a certain amount of Indian, Cherokee Indian, I could probably 
get um, whatever the fuck Native Americans have to do in this country to... And just so you know, it's not the percentage. It's being able to trace your ancestry back to a name on the DAWs list. Uh, yeah, that is... Okay! Getting pissed off! I know, hold on. I wonder why it keeps shutting off. Oh, it's, it's nuts. Yeah, I mean, I can, actually. My grandfather has dual citizenship. See, yeah, and I could get dual citizenship here if I wanted to, if my name's mm -hmm. on the, the, the weird list that you just talked about. But I can, I just need to prepare the paperwork. The problem is, is if I get dual citizenship... Okay, it's over. <laughs> 